I just got some worrying news. Thank you, Gatsby. Thank you. For like the past week now, I noticed Gatsby's nose was um, making noises again. And this time he wasn't really sneezing and he's not like, there's like no discharge. It sounds kind of like he had a runny nose even though he doesn't really have one. So I emailed the oncology department asking just for like antibiotics and I was like, oh, it doesn't seem like it's a big thing. Maybe it's a nasal infection. And their response was pretty worrying. They said that since there's no discharge or sneezing, it's unlikely that it's an infection. That probably it's not uh, something that, you know, antibiotics could fix. So they're worried that it's like the tumor recurrence. It has been a year since they did the treatment and they said that the treatment tends to only last one year. They want to do another CT scan so that uh, of his nose so they can, you know, see what's going on. But most likely it's, you know, the cancer is like coming back. So um we did have a follow-up appointment in like another week. Um, so I asked them if we could just run a CT scan, which is a really expensive procedure, just um, just to see what's going on again with his nose. Um, so they put him on the books for that. It's not like the late stages like last time when I caught it, because this time it's he's still fully able to breathe through his nose. I do notice things when I'm looking really carefully now, now that I'm like aware about it. Um, I do look more carefully at him. The good news is that he Gatsby seems like he's totally like unfazed by it. It's something so minor right now, so he's still totally fine, but it's just something that I I know, you know, in the back of my head. We got an extra year together, so I have to really appreciate what we have. I don't know, Gatsby, what should we do today? We just I think I just wanna stay with you for the day and let's just do stuff together. Well, you still feel really good. There's nothing I can do right now until we go for the appointment in like another week. Okay, I'm sorry, let's, let's just start the day. You wanna go on a hike? You and me? We are headed to Pacifica, California. It's a beautiful day today and when it is a beautiful day at Pacifica, we have to make the most out of it. You ready to go, Gatsby? <laughs> okay, let's go. Although my heart is breaking, I wanted to give Gatsby one of the happiest days that he and I will remember forever. I wanted to do this while he is still able to enjoy everything before his health starts to decline. We got to Pacifica and it was a little cloudy, but it turned into a beautiful day. Gatsby was so happy. I tried to keep a smile on my face, but I failed many times. This was one of my favorite places to go with him. He spent his time looking up at me and I could tell he really appreciated it. Right now, Gatsby is doing okay. He still has full airflow through his nose, but I now do notice the signs that the cancer could be coming back. Last year, Gatsby was treated with radiation. That's the only treatment for nasal cancers. Unfortunately, unlike surgery, radiation only kills back the cancer. It will eventually come back, usually within a year. The radiation treatment becomes less effective each additional time it is done because although the cancer cells die off, a few microscopic ones always survive and those are the ones that are resistant to the radiation and those are the ones that begin to multiply. So when you try radiation again, it doesn't work very well. <sighs> right now, Gatsby's quality of life is very good. We will be meeting with UC Davis Oncology next week to see what is going on and to decide a treatment plan. I only want to move forward if Gatsby's quality of life is able to stay high. Right now, he still has so much life in him. I know he doesn't think it's his time and I will give him every opportunity he wants. The first time I came here with Gatsby, I think he was like two years old and we had watermelons under this tree there. We sat here and ate watermelons and looked at the, the beach. It was like a really nice sunny day. 
Yeah. Gatsby and I have been through so much in the past nine years. Looking at that footage, we both have grown and experienced so much. By the way, I had a few of my friends help me film this vlog. They helped make this a special day for us. This bench is situated halfway up the steps. I spent a long time cuddling my Corky. I just kept telling him, let's stay here forever. Look how happy Gatsby is. I couldn't stop hugging and kissing him. I wanted him to know that I really appreciated him so much. We made our way up to Mori Point with an incredible view at the top. 645 feet. I realize this is probably one of the last times we'll be here together. <laughs> I tried to live in the moment and take it all in. Gatsby was so happy. I will remember this forever. And the sun came out. It was so beautiful. I'm so glad we came here. Okay, we spent a while up here trying to remember everything, taking my time to remember this place, and we're gonna head back now. We'll continue on with our wonderful day together. Yeah? Okay. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we made it back in the car. Oh my gosh, Gatsby, what else have we got planned for today? He did a really good job. We walked for like almost a mile, I think. And he, look, look how happy he is. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got a lot more planned for our big day out. So we're gonna do that. You gonna be okay, Gatsby? <laughs> Everyone, the time is finally here. I thought that we would reveal to you everything that we've been working on, yeah, for our winter merchandise launch. We have been so busy. We've been working on this for many, many months. Okay, are you ready? I hope you're ready. Our new Corgi Raw t-shirt. So we got it in four different colors over here. Here's navy, charcoal, dark maroon, and long sleeve in Atlantic. Another shirt that we got restocked this time is the Corgi Sun shirt by popular demand. It says over here, Gatsby in Japanese. Ta-da! So this is our new desktop mat. But Corgis still show up on the mat. Ta-da! <laughs> Embroidered, rawr, Corgi dad hat here. The Tyvek zipper pouches. A lot larger than our regular zipper pouches. Tyvek is like a really high quality, special material. Very, very light and soft. You can't tear it and it is waterproof. So if you wanna carry along like toiletries, you can take this to the beach, put your electronics in it. We have our really special knitted Corgi Christmas ugly sweater. It has all the different Corgis on it. The Gatsby one, we have the lighter one, and we have the orange one. And look, it's on the back too. Ooh, look at that, we got Corgis on all the sleeves. So this is gonna be a really limited edition item. Of course, if you wanna get the most mileage out of it, you should get it early so you have more time to wear it. Another new item that we have this year is Corgi Christmas ornaments, they're metal. Check it out. It comes in a two pack with gold and silver. We have these cute new vinyl stickers. And finally, our big item for the year is always our 2024 calendar. And here's a little short that I made. Here's how we shot the cover for my Corgi's 2024 calendar. I got the famous photographer Koki Yamaguchi from Tokyo to fly to California to shoot Gatsby's eighth calendar. And here's how we did it. I wanted to capture all of Gatsby's personalities in one photo, so we carefully planned and placed Gatsby on this bench, making sure he wouldn't overlap. We got 12 Gatsby's for the 12 months of the year, and here's the final result. What do you think? Make sure to stay tuned because I'm gonna show you guys all of the pictures in the calendar in this video. But first, we need to continue on with our awesome day. Are you ready to go? Do you want to go to the park? We're gonna, we're gonna go play.
Okay, okay. <laughs> Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> Are you ready, Gatsby? <laughs> Gatsby, we're gonna open some presents that people sent to us, okay? We're gonna open this one from Amazon. Ready? Okay, this one is from Panda Gina and Gina Panda Kim. Fucking Bronco! See, look at that. All right, next one is from Mr. and Mrs. Todd Inlow. Oh, they've sent us it. They're from Shelton, Washington. Oh my gosh, you got so much stuff. Oh, and, oh my gosh, Scrabble dog toy. There it is, ready? Go! Chipotle gift card. Dear Ryan and Gatsby, we enjoy your vlog so much. We wanted you to enjoy this care package after all you two have been through this past year. <laughs> Love April and Todd in low. And for Ryan, for me, I got Sour Patch Kids, my favorite candy. Seven Pup, Dog Toy. Go! Ooh, seven Pup. Salmon Treats. Okay, you're gonna have one, okay? Just one. You get set? Right here. Come. Okay, set. Thank you so much for sending us stuff. Guess we are such a lucky doggy, huh? Yeah. Mwah. Best day. I thought I would make Gatsby a really quick and easy sheet pan meal for you. Yeah? We're gonna make all your favorite foods. We're making memories today. Are you gonna help me make it? Are you gonna help me? I'm preheating the oven to 450 degrees. Everything's gonna go on our sheet pan. So what do we get? Organic chicken breast for you? Yeah? Your carrot. Okay. And some broccoli. Ooh, yeah? Okay. And I got you some Italian herb seasoning. <laughs> okay. So your chicken will be not bland. A little bit carrot. I'm gonna spray it with some 100% pure avocado oil spray. Place some broccoli on the sheet pan too. Carrots on the other side. Italian seasoning is dog friendly. Basil, rosemary, marjoram, thyme, sage, oregano. Just a little bit of turmeric. Turmeric is good, anti-inflammatory. Now we bake it in the oven for 20 minutes. Guess what Gatsby, it's been 20 minutes. You wanna see what we made? You gotta be careful, okay? Can you go over here? Can you go over there? It smells so good. We just gotta let it cool down, and then we can give it to him. Yeah, yes, it's for you, okay? We gotta let it cool down for a little bit. I'll cut it into small pieces too, so you can eat it easier. Ooh, Gatsby, you have meal, okay? You ready? Are you ready to eat it? The meal that you helped make? Okay. 
gonna remember this? Are we gonna remember this forever? So you wanna try some chicken first? Here you go. What do you think? Yeah? How about this? I'm gonna give you a little bit of everything. Broccoli. How about carrot? Oh, he's like, I want chicken. Here, how about the carrot? Try the carrot. He's like, no, I don't want carrot. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Another chicken. He's like, I can do it myself. Okay, I'll hold the bowl for you. He clearly does not like the carrots that much. Congratulations, you're done! You finished it, Gatsby! Good boy! Good boy, thank you! Okay, now it is finally time for me to reveal to you guys all the photos that are inside our 2024 calendar. Enjoy. There he is. <laughs> Look who it is. We got Koki back from Japan. Our photographer, he came to shoot Gatsby's calendar once again. The third this year. Is, yeah, the third year. We're assembling Gatsby's lounge chair right now. Okay, so we made it to Chrissy Field. We made it to Queen Wilhelmina Garden, the Tulip Garden. When the river is calling. We got the official Buzz and Woody. We can make it together. Look at this bridge. Are we ready, Gatsby? With lots of friendly faces all around. And we made it to the airport, Gatsby. You're gonna catch your private plane. We're doing Gatsby's disco inside of a garage. to Marin, we drove all the way over. Welcome back, what did you think? It's time for me to reveal to you the centerfold poster that comes with every single calendar. Here it is. A day spent with your dog is never a day wasted. You can hang it up while waiting for 2024 to arrive, and once the year is over, you still have the poster. These Corgi on Fleet calendars make the perfect gift. You're essentially buying a year's worth of Corgi happiness. Just imagine waking up every morning to a smiling Corgi face. Oh, I forgot to mention- We also have something very special. A potographed version with Gatsby's paw print and my signature. These are limited edition for true vlog after college fans. I always get so many people later on telling me, I wish I got a signed one. Go to the fold out in the center, Chris. Look. Do you see what that is? Oh, it's signed? Is it signed? <laughs> That's Gatsby's paw. Yes, yes. That's Gatsby's yes. paw. What is this? So the calendar along with all the rest of the merch is available at corgionfleek.com. Also check the website to see how you can get our Christmas card for free for a very limited time. I want to thank you all for watching today's video. I'm always going to remember today. It was such a wonderful day. Gatsby, every day spent with you is a wonderful day. Okay, so... We have an appointment for Gatsby for next week at UC Davis. He's going to be getting his CT scan done then. Um, and they're going to be looking into his nose to see what happened. I'm just so worried about that. All of the proceeds 
from the sales of all of our winter merchandise will first be going towards Gatsby's medical bills. A CT scan is like a few thousand dollars. We need to do it to see what's going on because there's no other way to see into a dog's nose. Um, other than that though, I just want to thank my friends who helped me film today's video and help give Gatsby such a wonderful day. Oh, okay. Good boy. I'm going to be setting up Gatsby's haunted house right now. So I have all the stuff over here from previous years. I bought 